Oh, super echo. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hello. Donnie, why is your shit so echoey? I just, I got up. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I guess that doesn't really answer the question. No, no. <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah, it's still a little bit. So weird. Check, check, Maybe. check. T- turn your headphone. It's not, turn your headphones down, Donnie. It might be you echoing in oh, into okay. the mic. It could be. Yeah. I mean, okay. How's that? Hello. That's uh, a little better. Hello. That's, I bet that's what it is. All right, turn it down a little more. You, you should barely hear us. Yeah. It's not I, your first rodeo. I already Come can on. barely hear you. <laughs> okay. You're, you're pretty low. <laughs> you have your beard, Donnie? Uh, no. Hello? I actually Jesus don't have the fucking. <laughs> I don't have mine either. I have my pregame so beer, but. It's, it's kind of crazy because. Uh, I didn't. You... Donnie, quit kicking your mic. You, <laughs> you guys, uh, I actually haven't drank since June. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. That sounds horrible. <laughs> no, no. What's wrong with you? Do you have gout or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell you uh, a little bit of my story, uh, I guess, when we start. <laughs> okay. Who has a child? That's definitely on Donnie's end because I hear it. <laughs> Do you have a cat? <laughs> Do you have a cat? <laughs> Is that the cat? Uh, probably. <laughs> 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 oh my god I thought it was a baby it definitely sounds like a kid yelling like dad dad oh god. dad nope. <laughs> is it okay <laughs> <laughs> are any cats okay no no they're they're nuts they just uh, tear up stuff <laughs> well that was that was your decision yeah yeah you know well, welcome back to the 40th 4-0 episode, Poor Choices Show. I am your host, Chris. I am here with my co-host, David. And to Vinny Testaverde, Whoopi Goldberg, Jimmy Kimmel, Steve Zahn, and Gerard Butler. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. and welcome special guest, Donnie. DJ Nipples. DJ Nips in the house. <laughs> Let's make some poor choices. Let's do it. Yeah. Fuck. Subscribe. So, 40th episode, we just hit, um, it may have been today, 1,500 followers on Instagram. That was yesterday. It was yesterday. So, woo, yeah. and closing nice. in on 500 on YouTube, which is awesome, I think. TikTok's in that mid four range, also maybe low four range, but no, I think we're like six fifty ish. TikTok oh. six twenty, six fifty, even better. YouTube, YouTube was the the starter and then the slacker. Okay, well we're um, well YouTube's the hardest one. It really is. Um, yeah. So we're closing in on three K from all platforms, which is awesome. After forty episodes, I mean, we're just doing this for the Fine. fuck of the shit, and you know, fuck of the. <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of old girl from uh, Ozark. I don't know shit about fuck. It reminds me of living in Mayo, Maryland. <laughs> yeah, that's that's proper English there. How about Parisburg, Virginia? <laughs> uh, you know what? All of the suburbs of Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, uh, I love every time I look at the election map, and I'm like, ah, so glad I got out of Maryland. Yeah, I um, it was funny. The I was when you can click on the states and like see which counties went for what and all that. And I looked at Maryland and I was like, you know, it'll be everything around the city as as they typically are blue. And um, Anne Arundel was red for the longest time, and I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Um, and then this morning I went and checked it, and it was blue. And I was like, okay, they caught up to it. Yeah, yeah. I was going to touch on the fact that we didn't hear Donnie crack open anything and the fact that he's now drinking a blue Powerade. Yeah. Well, before you get to that, let me stick with the theme here. Donnie, stop kicking your damn mic. <laughs> I don't know be grounded. what it is. So I was uh, I was browsing the book this morning, Chris, and I came across uh, this meme here. Donnie might have seen it, but I'll send it to both of you. And mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put it in post, but it was the 
I'm taking a crap, I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> I don't know if it says it on the map. No, it does. oh yeah, it does. So it's a map of the legality of owning a kangaroo. <laughs> I can no, see it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it. <laughs> I was like, that's great. It was like, take a, take a break from this map and check out this one. Yeah. Uh, so South Carolina, West Virginia, and Wisconsin, you do not need a permit to own a kangaroo legally. Texas, New Mexico, Nevada, Idaho, Washington, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, Maine, and New Jersey, you can have one with a permit. Every other state, it's illegal to own a kangaroo. So in California, you can't have aftermarket exhaust on your car, but you can have a kangaroo? No, it's illegal. <laughs> They're oh, in red. The reds. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I figured Florida would be at least orange. Florida like with I a feel permit. Like they're like, we're going to yeah. say it's illegal, but we don't care. Yeah. We don't care. Yeah. No one would. Complain. They don't care. <laughs> no. No, they don't care. I mean, my yeah. car is the most illegal car in the world, and they don't care. Nah. They don't care. I mean, even driven by cops, I'm like, you know that I shouldn't be doing this, but they're like, eh, you're under yeah, the speed limit. It's not a okay. primary offense. They don't care about tin. They, they don't care about anything down here, and it's I don't awesome. think tin's a primary offense either. It's not, but uh, you know, living in Maryland and Donnie in Virginia, that like that cop who just needs to meet his quota sees some dark windows, and he's like, "Wee wee." Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He got my Virginia's ass one time rough. coming over the mm -hmm. South River Bridge. Yep. Pulled me over. I pulled in the Wawa parking lot. He walked to my passenger door because I thought I was smart and put my window down. Walked around. I didn't see him because five percent tint. And he like tapped on the window, and I went to roll it down, and I got like six inches down and he was like whoosh, and smacked mm -hmm. the thing on it it was like you're at four percent eight or four point eight percent brightness or whatever and i was like hm, i paid for five uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, that sucks <laughs> and yeah. then he said oh where'd you go and you went uh just kidding i plead the fifth yeah, yeah. i did it myself <laughs> yeah yeah there you go yep. yeah so. well even when i did it down here to mine i was like the guy was like how dark you want to go he didn't care i was like um can you show me what's technically legal? And he showed it to me, and I was like, eh, just a little darker. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want to still be able to see at night. Like, I don't want it right. to hinder that. And it's it's pretty good. I mean, you could still see me, like, if you're sitting outside my car. But so not you are like, not John Cena. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's enough to where it helps with the sun, and you can't really tell it's me. You can see, like, a person, but it's not. It's not a fucking limo. <laughs> I'm just thinking about your life and your lifestyle and like how concerned you should be about someone noticing it's you in a vehicle. Plus, anyone that knows me around here knows my knows car, car, so yeah, they, they, they would know it's me. They, they just hear you coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> oh man, I've yeah, I have I have one set of neighbors. Uh, maybe it's like the building next to me that just I know they can't stand me. I think we've touched on it before, David. Yeah, I think so. They they just, I know they can't stand me, and I love it. Did Fuck they them. live there first? No. No, God, no. Okay, so you got, you got, I don't know, the upper hand. It's a, it's, you hear it once a day for 25 seconds, get the fuck over it. Yeah, every day at four in the morning. Four. That's just that's just tomorrow. <laughs> it's not tomorrow. most. That's not most days. That's I've luckily uh, since I changed locations and work, uh, don't have to do that bullshit anymore. Nice. I'm I'm still confused by all of it anyway. Considering you're the one that makes the schedule. You just scheduled yourself for a different location. It was it's, he's, it's, it's he schedules himself the, for these hours and these days, and then he's like, oh, I gotta fucking work. I'm like. It's Who no so that? so well yeah. this one I didn't schedule this was stuff came up and I had to cover somebody um mm -hmm. but fire them uh yeah two of them <laughs> mm -hmm. um but it's more so the I got I got a you know the needs of the store kind of fall on my shoulders and at my old store was fucking early mornings every fucking weekend and it was horrible horrible mm -hmm. but much better situation now. Yeah, we got to teach you what delegating is. Yeah. Oh, oh, trust me. I, I, <laughs> it's funny because I have a, um, I, I train a lot of uh, up and coming uh, management, and I have a, a white shirt, um, and I, I preach. It's one of my metaphors. <laughs> David, you made me a shirt for my other metaphor. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were about to tell me about the shirt I. No, made so I, I wear the white shirt, and I, and I, and I preach it to them as my, um, my delegate shirt. As in, 
think of yourself in something you don't want to get dirty and to not get it dirty means you're not getting hands on. You're delegating to other people. I'm like, very proud of that one too. It's good. Don't hate delegate. Oh, I can make a shirt like that too. <laughs> <laughs> I want a 5% commission. Uh, well, the fact that no one's buying them, I'm just giving them to the, once they graduate, it's like, ah. just start an Etsy store. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're selling copyrighted. <laughs> uh, uh, it kind of is. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, it definitely is. So just can I touch on, <laughs> can I touch yeah, on, let's, um, let's talk about sobriety. Yeah. yeah so Donnie, you're drinking a, a power raid. Uh, um, yeah. And you touched before the episode started that you haven't drinking since June, June. and Quit ago. kicking your mic. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All I hear is like. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like goddamn oh, Gaza over there. You know okay, what it yeah. is? It's this. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Go like this. <laughs> Let me put it down here. <laughs> Throw it out with the ballots. <laughs> but yeah, okay. uh, June. Um, it was right around the time I... Got the call to uh, start DJing for a company in Orlando. Wait, 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 like, wait, 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 yep. David, do you already know why he doesn't drink anymore? I feel like we should guess first. No, I don't know. Okay. What's your guess? Uh, let me ask ChatGPT. Why did Donnie stop? <laughs> um, do you, did you already have something? What do you mean by have something? <laughs> like a guess, Chris. Um, like, did you have something and that's why you want me to guess? I was going to go for just like a pretty basic answer, just like healthier lifestyle. Is my guess. This, this dude was running 5Ks like every week for Disney and didn't stop drinking. So I don't know if healthy <laughs> lifestyle is. I'm, I'm going to guess, you know, Donnie's mid, mid to lower 40s. 21. 21. Um, I'm just going to say maybe there was that doctor who was like, hey, man, you should lower it or cut it completely. And he was like, all right, I got you. Yeah, doctor told him that two decades ago. <laughs> That's my guess. I'm going for health health and okay. benefits I'm, reasons. Yeah. My guess will be kind of along the same lines, but not really for health. More to lose weight since he knew he was going to be at Disney around all these events with a bunch of girls. So he wanted to look good for them. Yeah, but you can lose weight and just drink like vodka and seltzer water. Like you don't have to stop drinking. So when you're like me, when you do that, you get too drunk too fast, and then when you're hammered, you, you order Taco Bell. Inch. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, so and then like, don't receive your order. Bad decisions, good intentions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's Donnie, a I don't fair know if he point. gets that. I don't know if he gets that joke, Donnie, because yeah. he was yeah, like yeah. blacked out when blacked that happened. Out. Yeah, yeah. Let me order uh, twelve quesadillas and. Oh, you guys told I, me about I, it. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something. Like that. But you would remember, like, if you, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they messed up the order. The bastards. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got you ordered like thirteen things, yeah. and you got two of something you didn't even order. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I spent all that money. I think <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Uh, we all, all right, started to derail you. So, so you started nodding your head about like nothing. losing weight. Yeah, so that is part of it. Um, of course, I uh, got a little chunkier from laying in bed for all that time when I had foot surgery. True. Is the uh, other part of it so you could remember being centered on your screen? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Make my fucking editing life a living hell. So, yeah, um, I got the, basically I got an interview for a company in Orlando to DJ events and, um, it worked out very well. They brought me on board, um, done some races for them, like triathlons. They do 5Ks, 10Ks, stuff like that. They also do theme parks. And I was like, man, if I'm going to be standing up in front of sometimes thousands of people, I want to look good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That, Donnie, that let's be honest here. I'm right, because if it was thousands of dudes, would you care? Uh, I'd probably drink more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer, Donnie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try to be as uh, least, attra- uh, least attractive as I could be. So what's your official, obviously, we at the intro called you like DJ Nipples, but what's like your, yeah. is it just DJ Donnie or like? Uh, 
The Don. You don't know this? The Don? Yep. I don't know that. So that do you like, logo and everything? Do you wear like like mafioso like clothing when you're DJing? Like the Don? Um I do have some hats. I, I don't usually wear them too often. What, but like sometimes. fedoras? No, like baseball <laughs> style hats that have like the Don on it. Of course oh, I've got, okay. Uh, like custom hats. Yeah. Actually, hang on. I've got um, But I feel like if you dressed up in like this like sick like 20s gangsters like you know like I mean, al pacino like that would be different not al pacino what I, feel was like, guy's I feel like you al just capone? like al capone like, yeah <laughs> al, pacino. Be, al pacino yeah. same thing yeah, yeah. yeah. i feel like you just like double entendred his dj name and like he didn't even know it he yeah. was like oh i never put two together about yeah. the don when you the said mafia. the don first yeah. thing i thought of was like a mafia boss yeah um, that's actually kind of where it started <laughs> oh. the, basically um it kind of just a buddy of mine uh, and I were just trying to come up with something. And he actually was like, the Don, because you're the best. You're the top dog. And I was like, okay. It works. It, yeah. it works. It's part of my name, too. So uh, let's do it. <laughs> and, I think uh, you should have just, you should have kept the whole theme, though. That's, like, uh, where it's like uh, DJ as like mafia boss. Yeah. That, that yeah. would have been a good idea. You probably would have got really hot really fast, yeah. though. Hmm. It's not too yeah. late. <laughs> but he's going to get really hot by not drinking, just in a different that's, that's, way. That's the plan. <laughs> yes. Now, are you throwing any um, any exercise into the mix now that your foot, I don't know how recovered it so is. I did just sign up for uh, LA Fitness first no of the month. Hell so, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's going down. <laughs> so can you, like, do full, like, could you, like, run on it, or would you have to go maybe like elliptical or a bike and that kind of so, thing? So I can run some. Um, this year, I actually did run um, three five Ks, uh, two at Sea World, one at uh, Disney. <laughs> make make me feel like a piece of shit. Um, that's that's a total of, of fifteen Ks for our uh, uh, marine listeners. Uh, um, yeah, I, I did have to walk a lot of them, but how long's a K? You know, one K oh, as long God. as you draw it. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> like how many miles is a five K? Is like three ish? It's like three point three point six, right? 3. Or, 2, yeah, something three, like that. Yeah. yeah, long enough. I don't know. I don't yeah. run them. What about you? Ever seen those um, drunk or not drunk, but drinking marathon uh, that people run? I've done one. <laughs> Have you? It sounds yeah. miserable. Like it sounds yeah. like it'd be so just bad. Yeah, there's one. Um, I want to say it was in Orlando like uh several years ago that yeah every like instead of water stops it was beer stops yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean it sounds fun in theory yeah. but then you're three miles and in dying and they're handing you more alcohol it, it probably well, you gotta think the people that do it are probably like conditioned it's not like oh, some yeah. dude that's like 400 pounds and he's like oh yeah free beer on yeah. my run yeah, like it's probably people that do it every day that they just get they're like we'll give you a break yeah like, I guess I just so there's like we're loaded. thinking about it from our point of view, which is like I haven't ran a mile in like a decade since twelfth so grade gym class. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be tough to get. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to get from the couch to the car. Like, <laughs> oof. Sure. Yeah. Well, fun, yeah. fun. Yeah. Let's let's uh. You want to have some fun before we get too deep into the DJ? Um, yeah, it depends on your definition of so fun and deep, <laughs> but I'm down. Why are we okay, going hey, there it is. All right, here we go. See, he doesn't need alcohol to throw these in here. Exactly. It started out with the, yeah, okay. Well, I have a few things that I think I made for both of you. Like you both can participate. Nice. Like a, like macaroni salad sculpture kind of thing. You made it or like. I literally have a woodworking business making shit, and you went to a macaroni salad sculpture? Oh, yeah. You, you didn't make me a custom, like, $1,500 <laughs> coffee table, so yeah. that's fair. Same. Okay. I have one in my living room. And, yeah, and he went, yeah, both. Look at that. My two best customers. <laughs> um, well, let's, uh, let's start with this one. I wanted to play another game of real or fake. Ooh. Okay. This time we're going to do athlete names. Oh, okay. So I'm going to say a name, and Donnie, since you haven't watched in probably since we started, uh, you're going to guess, you're both going to guess whether you think the name is real or fake. Okay, let's, let's do it. All right. All right, the first one is Destiny Hooker. Oh, I'm going real. I'm going to go real, too. That sounds that real. That is real. Yeah. 
I wonder how much. Do you, do you have? Um... <laughs> oh, there's that baby no. again. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't. She uh, she looked like a. It's like she ran track. Like a Joanna man. Track. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. All right, you should feed is. your kid, Donnie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Where my shit? Oh, Nala. No. All right, the next, <laughs> the next one is the coldest Crawford. Nah, that's fake. That's some Key and Peele, like Lajarius, Navarius, Dundarius, Arrington stuff right there. I'm going to go real. <laughs> that is real. Ooh. Can you say the name again? The coldest Crawford. The coldest? The coldest. The coldest. The coldest. coldest. Can you spell it? Uh, D e c o l d e s t. Jesus. He's a wide receiver for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Damn! If he would have been at least mm. a better receiver, that'd be maybe a little a better for him. I don't know. The coldest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah. the next one is rusty field goal. No, <laughs> fake. Yeah, I gotta go with fake on that. <laughs> yeah, that one is fake. Rusty Come trombone. On. That's a chat GBT. Right? Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, to not? all you listening, meet DJ Don. <laughs> here he is. All right, the next one is Tamar Rowe. <laughs> I'm going to go fake. I'm going to go it's not real. Oh, Let's go with real. Okay. okay. Uh, that one is fake. <laughs> that one is fake. Too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Keep telling yourself that. All right. The next one is rusty cunts. <laughs> YouTube loves that word, these. by the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't say half of these with a straight face. Uh, I'm going to say that is real. Okay, Donnie. I'm going fake. <laughs> okay. So, Chris, you think Tamar Rowe is too good to be true, but you don't think Rusty Cunts is too good to be true? <laughs> mm, I don't. I think that's real. Okay. Uh, yes, Rusty Cunts is an American baseball coach for the Kansas City Royals. Dang. <laughs> is it at least a Z and not an S? It is, and it's a K. Oh, uh, okay. I wonder yeah. if his wife's name is Moist. <laughs> uh, okay, Donnie. At least come up with something original like... Mm, nah. Dripping? <clears throat> nope, that's not a first name. <laughs> Dripping is not a person's name. Um, Squirt? Yeah. <laughs> nope, again, not a name. All right. The next one is Brick Houseman. <laughs> Brick Houseman? <laughs> Brick Houseman. Yeah. Sounds like He's it could be brick. real. Um, yeah. I'm going to go Brick Houseman is Brick. I'm going to name my kid Brick. I'm going to go fake. You're going to name your kid the coldest? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go that's fake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go real. Okay, that is fake. Yeah. <laughs> That is fake. Might be the best Chris, I've ever done on this game. I, yeah, I think, you got, have you got one wrong yet? Um, oh, yeah, you got yeah, the coldest Crawford. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think, come on. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next one is Chubby Cox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to think about yeah. sad stuff so I could swallow that. Sad no homo. Uh, <laughs> well, a not Chubby Cox? Um, oh, so, okay. His first name's Chubby? <laughs> Chubby Cox. <laughs> Donnie, quit drinking your fucking Powerade. Oh, uh, yeah. I need to put it down. Or just down. keep it in your lap or something, dude. <laughs> keep it in your lap, you jap happy pappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chubby is going to be real. Going real. Okay. Donnie? Chubby. Um, I think it could be real, too. So John Arthur Chubby Cox the Third is an American former professional basketball mm. player drafted by the Chicago Bulls in 1978. Doubles. Love it. Correct. All right. The next one is Rip Stankwell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Stankwell is not a last name. I'm going to go it's fake. Okay. Let's go real. That is fake. 
<laughs> I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> I feel like you're just trying to well, just I, I want to believe these are real. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of real, the last one I have is the realist Clark. <laughs> I'm going real after that. The coldest. I'm going to yeah. realist. Let's let's go real. <laughs> Uh, that is real. Nice. Let nice. Me, uh, what's this motherfucker? The realist Clark was a wide receiver for Defiance College. The realist for Defiance? Wow. Mm. Yeah, good for Defiance? him. <laughs> I don't know, but it's real. It's yeah. no real. <laughs> that is going to be in, nice. oh, it's, it's in Defiance, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me give you my, my honorable mentions. Okay. Um, for real names, uh, there's General Booty. I knew General. <laughs> yeah. I knew General. There's Kool Aid McKinstry. Everyone yep. knows Kool Aid. He's a saint. Yep. yep. There's Dewana Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put that in there. It'd be funnier if it was pronounced Boner. I didn't see it Boner. Yeah. It might be. I don't know. Dewana Boner. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody knows Dick Trickle. Yeah. 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 NASCAR, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. We have Coco Crisp, Milton Bradley, Storm Duck, Boof Bonzer, Mobility. <laughs> mobility. <laughs> Don't dig it up. Mobility. Uh, God <laughs> Sham God. There's a Steve Shartz. Oh, that sucks. The last one is uh, Meta World Peace. Yeah, we know yeah. Meta. Yeah, we know Who, that. Uh, yeah. Well, is actually also celebrating a birthday today. Huh. He just didn't make the cut. Oh, so Donnie, you touched on a little bit how you uh, you got a a gig DJing yep. at a theme park. Yeah, uh, we'll get into that a little more, but I guess uh, you approached that gig because of how much you love theme parks. Yep. Right. That is uh, part of why I moved to Florida. So yeah. <laughs> okay. You told me it was for a job, but. Well, that too. Um, <laughs> So I mean, I had uh, to have a job before I moved. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> uh, but so with that, I want you two to blind rank these universal rides. I blind don't rank. like this idea oh. already, but Ooh. okay, let's do it. All right, the first one is going to be Rip Ride Rocket. Ooh, where are we going? One to five? Yeah, Rip Ride is five. That's not smart. <laughs> I'm going with a four. Okay. You boys gonna put the it's, fucking teacups on here? <laughs> no, nah, I didn't do that. You know what he's gonna do? I know what he's gonna do. I, I know what's coming last. I know uh, what's oh, coming last. Oh no! Right. I don't think you do. I do. I think it's coming fourth. I know. <laughs> All right, the next one is gonna be Fast and Furious. <laughs> Ooh, oh, seven. <laughs> well, it's no, gotta go four. Nine of them it's gotta go of them four. Now. Yeah. Okay. Real bad. That's definitely my five. Yeah, I'm glad okay. I didn't pick five for the first one. <laughs> so you could okay. have picked five really good rides and made it uh, a lot harder. Could have. Okay. When's the last time you did that for me? Um, I still have PTSD from that wedding scenarios. That was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, my friend making out with my aunt or something. That's oh, pretty gosh. Good. That's, that's pretty good. <sighs> All right, the next one's going to be Velocicoaster. Ooh. I'm going to go two and hope. I'm going to go ahead and go with one. Okay. The next one I have is E.T. Oh, I thought that was going to be your last one. Okay. That's why I said it was going to be four. Uh, three. <laughs> I'm getting the fucking teacups. Yeah, I'm going three Donnie? as well. Three? Yeah. Okay. And the last one I have is Harry Potter and the Hogwarts Express. I'm fine with that at one. I am fine yeah. with that at one. I'm good at that. I'm cool. At two. Yeah. 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 Two That's fine. Yeah. Out of those five, absolutely. <laughs> You've had a couple fire whiskeys and some strong bow, and you're just on that train. <clears throat> and that's yeah. about all the Harry Potter you can tolerate. Just yeah. cruising. Yeah. I'm I cool. I want Harry that. Potter, but yeah. I don't want exciting. I can even take my drink on it. Like, I'm, I'm solid yeah. with that. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was too hard to keep track with both of you. Do you guys remember your list? Yeah. I had a Hogwarts Velocicoaster. Yeah. Um, E.T. was three, four was Furious, and then five was um, Rip Ride. Rip Ride, okay. yeah. yeah. Donnie, went, remember yours? Yeah, I went with Velocicoaster as one, uh, um, Hogwarts 2, E.T. 3, um, four was Rip Ride Rocket, 
And then five was Fast and Furious. Yeah, I'm good with that. Sounds a little more satisfying than Chris's, I think. But yeah. I guess, well, you know what? Yeah. If you've had a lot to drink, Chris's sounds great. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, when you when yeah, you yeah, go yeah. to Universal yeah. as an adult, well, you have well, a lot to drink, yeah. right? You yeah, two, ride, two of us, yes. Rip, ride, rocket. One of us hammered. no longer drinks. <laughs> Yeah, especially if you get stuck up top and you're like leaning back, like oh, oh, yeah. fucking hammered. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. So we're gonna play a little game here. I have not, not a big game. No, because uh, I haven't. I didn't have much time, man. So I only have three songs here. Okay. Um. So I, I'm gonna play one at a time. I'm gonna play three songs in reverse. Oh god. <laughs> and the first one to guess it wins. Okay. Oh. In so I'm just gonna pick a uh, random spot in the it's song. Be like going like, to start. Are the lyrics gonna be S- said in reverse or just oh. in yeah, reverse? It, like the Missy Elliott. Like, yeah. oh god, we're gonna okay. put our thing down. Uh, so I haven't listened to them. I don't know how easy they are. I did it during my pre pre show poop. Okay. Bring it on, I guess. All right. Let's see if you can hear this. Can you hear it? It's faint. It's, it's so low. Okay. Well, that's part in the USA. My Cyrus. Nice. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> how'd you... How'd you... Was there anything like give it um, away? I think the beat to it honestly did it. And then she went, hey. <laughs> or she went, oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And the next one. Is it Rihanna? Is it I've Got a Feeling? It is I've Got a Feeling. Yeah, nice. Chris Come on, Donnie. Knocking them all out. What are you doing? Know. Donnie's like. I always play these songs forward. <laughs> I've like, I'm, I'm never been that drunk. <laughs> uh, Whoops. All right, play it backwards. I've got one more. Is that Mambo number five? It is. It is Mambo yeah, number five. Is. Good job. Jeez, yeah. the one I thought yeah. you would get, Chris, is the only one My first gets. thought was Fetty Wap, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have something a little music related if you want to do that. Yeah, do that. And then we'll, okay. we'll go into the Don. Well, I got some of the best advertising jingles of all time. I want to see if you guys, I'm going to give you the name of the company or the brand and see if you guys can get them going in your heads. Because Band-Aid's stuck on me. Well, that's a good one. That's all a right, real good okay. one. Okay. Uh, first one is Toys R Us. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Oh, so you just want us to say it, not finish yeah. it? Yeah. Can you, can you remember the Toys R Us jingle? It's a real cool place to be a kid. Mm, keep going. Yeah. That's the... That's yeah, the I remember that. Was like, Is that not the jingle? Be a kid. Yeah. 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 You're getting there. Yeah. Uh, uh, 90% off everything because we're closing doors. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on now. Think of like uh, Peter Pan. It's your hint. What does Peter Pan not want to do? Steel. <laughs> uh, Tinkerbell. <laughs> or does I think he, he, I think he does. Yeah. 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 He doesn't want to grow up. I uh, don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what the fuck was I saying? I don't know. Something about showing up to the store with my gat or something, would you say? No, I said it's a real cool place to be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I pulled out my gun. <laughs> what the fuck is it? That's it. I so think we were spot place. on, but it was more of like a. An, that uh, might have been like the song. intro to the song. Yeah, I don't where know. a kid can be a kid. It was, yeah, that, right. so the, no, no, no. About. So where a kid can be a kid is yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm way off. Maybe then. at one point Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese said it's a real cool place to be a kid. Oh, he did. Yep, there it is. There you uh, go. Hmm. We touched on this one last week, so I'll leave this one to Donnie. Um, Donnie, can you give me J.G. Wentworth? Isn't that the... Uh... Ooh. Oh, gosh. Think opera. 
Isn't that the one that's like it's a phone eight seven seven cash now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. eight seven seven cash now. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Hell yeah. I have seven and I need cash now. Yep. Very I'll see if good. I auto tune that. Uh, give me some Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer. Donnie, that's you because we oh. I said that one last week. Oh man, my mind is blank on that one. Ooh, David, you want to? Fill them in. The same one I did last week. I would say probably their most popular one. My baloney. Oh nope, the other one. Oscar Mayer has a way with B O L O G N A. <laughs> no, it is the um, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Oh, that is man. what I yep. truly like to be. Uh, also, right. also. No, the fuck you wouldn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would drive that truck, though. I'll, I'll tell you that yeah. much. Oh, yeah. The Wiener Mobile. <laughs> Absolutely. Mom, Mom, yeah. I want to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be just like your father. <laughs> <laughs> drive it around to all the strip clubs. <laughs> uh, all right. How about give me some Ace Hardware? Ace Hardware. Yeah, a little jingle for Ace Hardware. And as soon as you hear it, you're going to go, oh, yeah. Well, see that, and that's what I thought we were doing with this segment: like, is you start uh, jingle the jingle and we finish okay. the jingle. Ace is the place for the structured hardware, folks. Oh, you're—I mean, you're close. Oh. You got the last word, folks. Yeah. Uh, we're, for the, <laughs> structured we're the, hardware with, with the helpful <laughs> hardware, folks. Helpful, that's it. Yeah. Ace oh, is the place man. with the helpful <laughs> hardware, folks. So you, yeah. you said Ace is the place, and I almost said where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> 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 oh man yeah, maybe that's where some of Chuck E. Cheese parts came from <laughs> yeah you already touched maybe. on band-aid right David yeah how about Huggies that's not not in my ballpark <laughs> well, some, some, some pull ups I think we kids. use pampers start it I'm I'm a Big, Big kid, kid now. now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. See, I, I would have okay. said Toys R Us for that one, too. How about some Folgers coffee? See if you can get it without me starting it. Folgers the best coffee. part of yeah. waking up yeah. Folgers in your cup. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, did, did Maxwell House have a jingle? I don't think so. <laughs> I think Probably Max not. got lost in that yeah. scenario. Um, Max lost his house in the hurricane. Was, yeah, flew away. Uh, ooh, Subway. Eat remember fresh. that? Remember Eat that commercial? Fresh, yeah. It was five. Five dollar foot long. Oh yeah. yeah. Five dollar. Five dollar foot, foot long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it went to. Uh, don't look at my search history. I know, yeah. <laughs> e, e, yeah. e. Uh. Um, and that that's about it. I think the rest were pretty simple, like Kit Kat. It's pretty easy. Give me a break. Yeah, break me off yep. of that. Yep. Yeah. Kit nice. Kat bar. Cool. That's all that's I got. My pick, that's my pickup line at the club. <laughs> Break me off a piece a, of that, yeah. and, and their and their response is, "Give me a break." Yeah, no, their response exactly. is, "Show me your wallet." Yeah. These days, True. yes, inflation. You have a um, a unique week this week, David, because you're in a hotel, right? Can you do me a favor and real quick? Can you just look and see one what Bible and two is there also the Book of Mormon in your room? I'm just curious about a. Uh, something I heard. So, so thanks for reminding me. Mm-hmm. What verse do you got? Uh, is it, is it what, what Bible is it? The Holy One. No, what is it? Does it say anything else? Holy Bible. What's at the bottom uh, there? The Gideon's. Pla- place it's the Gideon's, Gideon's, right? Yep. Is this is, Ashley's family, Donnie? <laughs> is there Maybe. no Book of Mormon there? <laughs> uh, nope. Okay, so I have heard that the Mormons are taking over hotels, and most hotels now are carrying the Gideon, but also have the Book of Mormon in it. So who is Gideon? I think, isn't that just a group of religious dudes that go around and uh, 
Preach. <laughs> See, Gideon was a military leader, judge, and prophet in the Bible who led the Israelites to victory over the mid, that one. Um, his story is told in the book of Judges, chapters 6 through 8, in both the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Bible. Hmm. Midi- Midianites? Mennonites? Midianites? Gideon was the son of... Hmm? <laughs> Come on, we need, we need an Eric. Spit it out. <laughs> Josh. Josh. J O A S H. J O eight. J O A S H. Josh. Yeah, Josh. And came from the. Oh fuck me. Abizarite clan in the tribe of Manasseh. He lived in Ephra. Oh, Ophra. He lived in Oprah. Oof. <laughs> Reminds me of that South Park episode. <laughs> it's the, the snooker and the snatch or something like that. Yeah, and like her uh, snatch is like holding up ransom, like people with like holding weapons out of her puss. Oh God. Never seen that one. That's a good one. That's a good no. one. That's a good one. <laughs> this, this line sounds like it would be in like some erotica. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God. Yep. Huh. So no, no. Uh, would you say would yeah. be here the uh, Book of Mormon? So no Joseph Smith okay. in there. No, so I'm in okay. Texas. So uh, that's yeah. a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. it's a good point. It, you are spot on, though. When I stayed in Orlando last weekend, you had uh, a Book of Mormon. There, there was both. Yep. There is a. I'm surprised there wasn't like a how to come out of the closet of book yeah. there. Uh, yep. They also own. Yeah. Is it the Mormons that own almost all of Florida's land or is it? Yeah, it is. The Mormons own like the majority of the land in Florida. Yeah, it is a lot. I think your daughter's calling. (laughs) (laughs) I need it. I'm convinced Donnie's got like a child in his closet or something. Uh, It doesn't sound like it's a cat. I'm just going to be honest. Like, are you babysitting or <laughs> no. like, it's like, do you have like a nephew or niece over? Like, No, no, I, I do have a niece now, that, but uh, she is in Virginia. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how deep uh, I want to delve into that because that might take the rest of the night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> Donish. I feel like there's a, there's a, kid, there's a kid there. The, he, he's yeah, lying to us. A cat. There's a kid there. Unless your cat knows English. No, because like, I heard I heard a female voice say, sit down. There's a, there's it's something Lindsay, going on. It's isn't it? Something's going on over something's there. Something's going on back there. <laughs> you can tell us, Donnie. We're only going to publish this to yeah. the world. So, I, I, I mean, you, yeah. your secret's safe with there's us. That's nothing really going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see somebody saying to a cat, get down. <laughs> get down? Oh, it could have been get down. It could have been get down. Been. Because she does climb curtains. But I think it was a child acting up and was told to sit down. <laughs> That's a kid, man. That ain't no fucking cat. I'm about to take it around. <laughs> you what? Take the camera around. <laughs> Go go get the cat. Go get her. Oh, yeah. Nah. She mm-hmm. doesn't need to be mm-hmm. on here. See, <laughs> see. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're on to you, Donnie. I'm very intrigued, but I feel like we're not going to get it out of him. No, it was. He's kind of locked down. He's like mm. like the Ravens defense in 2000. He's locked down. He's letting up 10 points Ray a game. Lewis. Yeah, he needs <laughs> he needs to open up like the Cowboys front seven. I was going to say the 2024 oh, yeah, Ravens just, defense. Just let everybody in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, but at least you guys got nope, nope, a nope. Okay, receiver. anyway, Donnie. So uh, <laughs> yeah, fifth string for a uh, fourth, fourth round, round pick. pick, not just a fourth round pick, but next year, not like two years down the road. Uh, another terrible Jerry move. <sighs> Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. So Donnie, tell us, <laughs> how did you get started DJing? So how did I get started? Well, it kind of goes back to like fourth grade going into fifth grade. That's how long it goes back. <laughs> 
So um, I broke my arm and had a cast on <laughs> during the summer. And um, I was in the student council. So there was a student council pool party that summer. And obviously I couldn't get into a pool with a big cast on. So I started, I played the music. That was my first gig. <laughs> what arm and, did you break? Uh, my right one. Is it hard to like spin with a cast? Uh, if I had a cast on, yeah. But that uh. was way back in the day. I didn't have like turntables in fourth and fifth grade. Your <laughs> elementary was, school had a was, school council? Yeah. The fuck? Basically, my elementary school was actually K7. Okay. Like, it okay. was a little small town of, I don't know, 3,000 people. <laughs> Winchester, Simfieldville. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Iowa. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So that was my, my first gig, um, I guess how about, you say. How about your worst gig? Um, I like to think just, they're all just jump pretty in my, good. Jump in my bullets here. Um, cause oh, they're, all fun. No, it, they're, they're all fun in their own just way. Just having a conversation I mean, here. I mean, <laughs> you know, weddings are fun and clubs are fun. Um, You're saying a lot of fun to, words. I said worst. I know. It's hard to say what's <laughs> worse. Um, like what was like a Jesus, I'm glad that was over. If I ever, if I have to really point out the worst I ever did, it was because I had like three ex girlfriends in one place at one time showing up. <laughs> that was probably the only one that sticks out that was bad. So, did you play like a lot of like breakup music, or did you? Yeah, play, like, I was gonna say Donny like... Donny slaps on no, Man Overboard it, by Blink One Eighty Two. It was just one of those weird, awkward moments because here I am. Or did like, you play like, I miss you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I or did you fuck I'm up. so sorry. Did yeah. you fuck up all of them and then you just slap yeah. on like Shaggy wasn't me? Shaggy and I wasn't Oh, that's me. good. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But yeah, it was more just an awkward thing more than anything because I was on stage and they kind of gathered together and I was like, Oh gosh. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that was probably the worst that comes to okay. mind. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if you had any kind of like, oh, I went to the kids party and, and they were throwing yeah. shit at me or like, no, I was yeah. violently ill at this one thing and this and this. No. Or... I, mean, I mean, I've had like, colds and stuff like that but yeah jordan flu game nothing like yeah i know yeah because <laughs> when you get hired to to do a gig like especially if it's like a a private party or something you can't really back out of that you know unless sure. you're just you know on your deathbed <laughs> but for anyone um, listening can now go see the don at sea world is that correct so sometimes okay Okay. Yeah. They basically, uh, they send me out like emails at the beginning of the week, uh, on like availability. But I mean, I told them, obviously I can only do weekends because of the day job. And this episode of the poor choice show is sponsored by SeaWorld, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's right. There we go. Whale killers. <laughs> okay. Shamu will see you. Here we go. Okay. But, uh, yeah, good. it's, like uh, okay. then my Shame first wow. gig there, uh, <laughs> last month um and that was that was a lot of fun i had some dancers uh they were spunky and very talented i mean um donnie this is a kid's park what do you mean you had dancers is. yeah yeah I had, I had dancers were they wearing clothes <laughs> yes they were wearing clothes okay that's <laughs> yeah. were they on were they on stilts some of them were were they dressed like the ones as animals outside the mummy? no not animals uh scarecrows did they have if more than a bikini a top on? Yes, they did. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but, Welcome uh, to Sea World. Take it off. <laughs> but, uh, so uh, would that be the biggest audience that you've DJed for? Um, not yet. Um. If I do some, if I do some summer gigs there, probably, um, because their summer gigs are in their stadium and their, I think their stadium actually holds several, I don't know, maybe five, 6,000. Um, so what so is the I'm, biggest audience you've DJed for? 
right now, probably about three thousand. Just Damn. ballparking. So Where was when that? I when I started doing clubs uh, back in Virginia, um, I thought I was going to say at I the was, student council pool party. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was um, doing a nightclub that uh, mostly did hip hop shows, and um, I was and I was doing you know hip hop clubs at the beginning. That's how I really got my start in clubs, anyway. And you don't uh, have like one memorable, horrible uh, experience from I'm, hip hop well, Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Now that I think about it, I was uh, like, yeah, it did get shot up one time. That's right. I been, no, I right. haven't been shot up. I've been uh, pepper sprayed a few times. <laughs> a few, Donnie. Donnie, a few. we're not talking about when your three ex girlfriends were yeah, there. We're yeah, no, about... it wasn't that night. It was. Um, How did this not come up first when I said worst yeah, experience? I, I didn't even think about it until just now. Like. um it was uh, at that particular club. They had their own like DJ booth room, and there was a big fight like right outside of the DJ booth, and all the um, security guards and stuff started running into the to actually the DJ booth. So all the pepper spray was coming into the DJ booth. <laughs> so here I am like crying. <laughs> You sound and, like that uh, kid collateral. in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. collateral damage. <laughs> I, I have 12 over there. <laughs> Sounds like Surprise. you have a 12-year-old over there. <laughs> but, yeah, that that's probably the worst. Um, that sounds like the worst. Jesus. Um, if I had to go to the best, that's, that's hard to say because... I mean, they're all, they're all good in their own way. Um, well, I think, I, know the, from, I think the obvious answer is my uh, wedding. Uh, yeah, I was, the wed- your wedding was off the charts. So it was, you, already, uh, you already missed uh, yeah. the comedic relief of, of saying that was your worst experience. <laughs> yeah, no. You yeah. might as well say it's the best. I no, mean, that was a great, that, that was a great, I mean, great experience. It was, it was a good time. You say that we because you were up there with them. Yeah, it was. Jumped out, yeah, jumped out with the mic. Everybody did a little, a little rapping and singing and dancing. I even got and, you shot when the bartender said, we don't do shots. And I was I like, know, yeah, but, that, but can but you do yeah. it without yeah, lemonade? And she's like, yes. And I was like, like well, yes. then I'll take two, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> take a lemon drop, hold the lemon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, great, was, great, great wedding. Good time. People so, dancing again, that I didn't think would be up dancing were dancing. So you know you did a good job when that happened. Yeah, yeah, that, that was. A lot I didn't. Of fun. I didn't hear you say P. So I just thought you said pole dancing, and I was like, I don't remember that. Oh, <laughs> that was back towards the bathrooms. You didn't see that. Yeah, I was in the bathroom like eight times. Uh, the other I had, bathroom. I had a pregnant wife. <laughs> oh, out, out back. <laughs> yeah. oh, By the pond. <laughs> By the pond. <laughs> Called it the uh, pond pole. Yeah, it was a good time. That's uh, funny. Um. Okay. Have you have you done any gigs with like people that I don't know? I guess we would have heard of. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Biggest More name like, drop. Ready go. It's probably a toss up. Uh, Jagged Edge. I've DJ for Jagged Edge. Um, clips. So keep keep going down this route. But I meant like a collab with another DJ. Oh, have I collabed with that? Um, I don't but know. Keep going down the other path. Any, anybody you've sorry. DJed for. You Anything you've to... done for someone famous. Well, mm-hmm. as a witness, do you music DJ? related? Let's see. I'm sure many have witnessed me DJing. But, witness uh, me. <laughs> Did you? We, um, we had Jehovah's some... Witness? No, that was fairly... a Mad Max reference, anyways. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Okay. Like, there, there was a phase. I, I did. Um, I. Men? Yeah, it was probably, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> there were no, no phases for that. <laughs> it was a phase. I did men. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I had an EDM phase that um, there was a club in Virginia that came to me and they were like, hey, you want Friday nights? And I was like, yeah, I'll take Friday nights. And I, I wanted to do something different. And I was like, I'm just going to do an EDM show. So I hooked up with some of my buddies and uh, we all like, started playing and it was just EDM dubstep trap stuff like that. And, um, cause it was new, you know, well, well not new, but it was very different for that area. And, um, it kind of took off. What the hell? He ain't talking about his tractor. <laughs> no, 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 John Deere. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, it took off and we, we had some, some, 
semi-famous DJs uh, there, uh, along with this, like uh, um, Race Car Bed. They're kind of famous in Maryland. Um, Crankin, if you look him up, he's got a million bajillion followers. Um, you know Hot Tub Limo? Um, no. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Been. That might just be an Anne Arundel County thing. Yeah, could be <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, but uh, so does the uh, does the M in EDM is EDM just like a more severe electric dance music? Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's, I didn't know if it was like a more severe like ED. No, no. Erectile dysfunction well, yeah, no. major. Let me, let me go get my pills. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm you're 40, a, or, you know, you just had a phase. A, I just take figured, a big, you know. Take a big pill before I get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're not drinking, Donnie? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, What's in that power rate? Is that this is my This is my normal self. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, do. Big, big goofball, yeah. So that was people you've DJed for, or was that uh, also with. including... Okay. That's more along gotcha. with, but for are there yeah, any other famous Jagged other Edge, than Jagged Edge? clips? Um, I did um, Young Jock. Is oh, well, there down. you are, Young Jock. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> did did Raheem uh, Devon once. Who? Um, he's an R and B singer. I is that like is that like the coldest? The coldest, yep. the really? <laughs> yeah. The Brickashaw. Uh, Selena Johnson, <laughs> another R and B singer. Um, sounds like a Madden. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a Madden creative player. But yeah, the, I mean, obviously, you know, Jagged Edge and Young Jack were my, I'd say, most famous. I mean, um, you didn't do uh, God, who's that one dude clips. that lives in? Who's that one dude that lives in Virginia Beach? Push a T is in clips. Who's the dude that sings that happy song? Pharrell. Yeah, he lives in Virginia, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he he actually started a big music fest in his house, in Virginia Beach. Yeah, hmm. they'd be like, "Hell no, nah, you for real?" I know. <laughs> but yeah, he, he worked uh, very closely with Clips back in the day. But yeah. So what? Okay, I guess we already did. We already ask you what your favorite event you did was. Your wedding. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hijacked. Was there a real one? Oh. I mean, recently, I, I'm just going to, I got to see SeaWorld because uh, it's something that I've always, you know, ever since I moved down here, I was like, I really want to do a theme park. And, um, you know, when I first moved here, I, I had a lot of chats with the main company that does Disney. And, um, you know, I'm not going to talk bad about that company at all, but uh Basically, those talks kind of went nowhere, and I gave up on them. Basically, I was like, I'm not going to even bother anymore. And then um, I saw, uh, you know, an acquaintance that a a DJ acquaintance post a a post that uh, this DJ company posted an ad on um, uh, Instagram that they were looking for DJs. And I knew the company. I knew what they did. And I was like, I'm at least going to try. So they did uh, not have I, sexual relations with that woman. Uh, no, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they were like, once they, I, uh, reached out to them and they're like, can you send me a resume? And, uh, of course I had, didn't have a resume <laughs> made for DJ. Information security analyst uh, at Harris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> send them the playlist. Yeah. There you go. So basically. Just like send them 10, that video of all of us singing Adele at the wedding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they They'd be actually, pretty good. Uh, yeah. They actually do have one of the videos from the wedding. <laughs> so I can sue you, I guess? Uh, maybe. I don't know. But okay. uh, during, like, the interview process, they're like, do you have any, like, videos of you, like, being interactive with the crowd? And I was like, well, yes. Uh, yes, I do. Ah. <laughs> so uh, I did send them one. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah, the rest Goddamn of Goddamn Powerade bottle. The rest is history. Don, Donnie really putting the power in AIDS over there. <laughs> huh. Gotta okay. get the blue one. And I think I, I asked you before, but uh, I don't know if you gave me a clear answer. My brain's also been mush lately, but uh, what what's the potential of you getting to a point with the SeaWorld gig that you could quit the day job and do that 
full time? So they do have full time DJs, um, but I never really got into that discussion with them. I was kind of like, well, I have a day job, so um, I only have weekends. But would I guess like if they would so say say you were able to take a full time spot, would mm-hmm. the pay balance it, out to the day job? It possibly could. I Damn. mean, if it's like sometimes they do like two gigs a day, um, I've I've noticed that. So probably it's it's very possible. Donnie got that Sea World money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, if it's one gig a day, then probably not. You know, just vary. How long is a gig? Uh, so far, they've been about four hours. Okay, so two gigs would be. It's like just over a, a bite. Yeah, that's a gig. Yeah. Well, Bruh, it's, it's a thousand bite. bites. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I appreciate you uh, trying the technology, Chris. Yeah, I just started started my first band. Uh, call yeah. ourselves nine hundred ninety nine megabytes. Still haven't got our first gig. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, David. Hey, Mister IT, like that one. Hey, all right. that was funny. That was funny. All right, you tell your friends. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> my friend is on, and he's also IT. <laughs> True. True. That. You, still had, you, you still at old L three? I am. Hell still yeah, there. brother! Yeah. I hate when people call me IT because I know, like, technically. No, that's when you're like, that. yeah, I'm it. I'm it. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, I guess. But then they yeah, like respect know. you for a few seconds, and then they're like, oh, yeah, but you're still just IT. Yeah, because yeah. we're not IT. Like we're under that umbrella, but IT is like. Um, I forgot my password. Can you get me in my computer? Yeah. Hey, or did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. I had, did have to do that with you. Did you uh, put the? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> this cup holder is broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's real bad. Hmm. Did you, uh, I, Donnie? I told you to bring content. Did you? Uh, I have a little bit. I have some goofy. Sports trivia. Oh, bring that on. <laughs> yeah. So how about this one? So there is a wife carrying festival annually in Finland. What do you think the prize is? Start talking all over again. What are you saying? Wait, yeah, he, you got, yeah, you got jarbly. So, yeah. So this is a sport, but there is a wife carrying festival in Finland. What do you think the prize is? Um, all the other wives. Ooh, they do polygamy there. <laughs> like if you lose, you give up your wife to the winner. I'm gonna say it's like a carrot, just for a night, just for a night, just for a night. Like yeah. like a carrot, like as in like uh, like the vegetable. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm, nice. Nice. I'm gonna say one. they get a, a flogging spoon. I don't know what that is, but it sounds <laughs> finished. So we're we're gonna give it to them. I think you know what I'm gonna change my my guess to a pair of knickerbockers. Huh. No, that's not finished mm. enough. Yeah, maybe like um, like one of those fish that talks on the wall with a Billy Bass, <laughs> yeah, Billy, yeah. big mouth Billy yeah. Bass. Uh huh. Yeah, you get one of them, and it sings hinga dinga derg. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's Sweden. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. What you're, do they win, Donnie? Uh, a little bit off. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Just a little bit off. They win their wife's weight in beer. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got that contest in six months, babe. Um, Here's McDonald's for all those six months. Yep, pretty much. There you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. So how much uh, would, let's, on, let's just call it an looking. average of 100, let's say 100, let's say 70 pounds, just to call it a little bit heavy, because they want someone a little bit heavy so they can win a lot of beer. How much that's, is that that's in a lot like of beer. pints, David, or like? So that depends on your gallon and your beer. So it's about mm, 150 pounds. We'll go with like 18 100. gallons. <laughs> that's a ton of beer. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> all right. All right. All I'm right. cool with that one. I'm good with that one. Okay. So, uh, here's another oddball one. So, what sport has a record for the most participants dressed as fruits? <laughs> <clears throat> it's got to be some kind of run. 
So like a like a like a five k, ten k, like some kind of triathlon or something like that. Read it one more time. What sport? What has sport the has a record for, for the most participants dressed as fruits? <laughs> is this like a gay joke? <laughs> like it's, it's got it. Yeah, it's like the I San mean, Francisco uh, volleyball league. Like, what are I, I we talking about? Here? I didn't even think of it that way. <laughs> this, the actual answer is probably not really the real answer. Then, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll go with the Savannah Bananas. Oh, uh, actually, Chris a banana is, is a vegetable. Chris is pretty much spot on. It's the the London Marathon. <laughs> But okay, yeah. was running naked. Yeah, I know. Banana's yeah. not a vegetable; it's a berry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting for him to finish so I could get you on that. But uh, berry banana, berry. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's go to this uh, another oddball one. Who was the first baseball player on a box of Wheaties? <clears throat> I'm gonna go with Mickey Mantle. Mm-hmm. Derek Jeter. <laughs> Lou Gehrig. Oh, that was my other guess. Damn yeah. it. You're, you're Damn close. Weedies, the kinda. weenies will give you the diseases. <laughs> and the runs. <laughs> the London runs. <laughs> so much fiber. <laughs> Wouldn't it be the opposite of the runs? Uh, yeah. Know. The backup Gives you the cons. <sighs> yeah. Could be just like eating a bunch of... <laughs> the rusty cons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like his name is also pronounced Kuntz. Maybe. There was no little thingy dingy above the no U. Way. So. It's, it's got to be Kuntz. Kuntz. It's got to be. His first name's not Dean. <laughs> Do you think women would hate that word so much if we pronounced it Kunt? I don't know. Like you're being a Kunt. Oh, you fucking Kunt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in Ireland, Kunt. I feel like they do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's a, blood, she's, a, she's a fucking Kunt. <laughs> uh, that might be Scottish. I don't know. One of them. One of them islands. You know, you want to make fun of me? Okay. Um, I just learned that the UK wasn't like just another name for England. Oh, David. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's, like when you say I just learned, how much just learned? Three Yesterday? days ago. Three days ago. Fuck. Oh, Two days ago. Man. David. <laughs> Can just, you, uh, anytime I've ever heard of it, like referred to, it's been like just someone like, "Where are you from?" Oh, the UK. Like, okay, I well, want yeah, you to go ahead one of them Wait, and know. give yeah. me give me the countries in the UK, David. Uh, England. Yep. Ireland. Yes. Scotland. Mm-hmm. There's two more. Uh, I think the video said there were four. And there's technically two more. Finn. Uh, but okay, not, Finland okay. and Northern no, Ireland. No. Northern Ireland is one. Um, the other one is Sc- the one that connects to England on the left, on the west. I just lost all my audio. We didn't say anything. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, said, I, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear that kid screaming in Donnie's closet. I thought my audio went out. <laughs> so there's a body of water between Ireland and this country, and, uh, uh, and the blood of Christ. <laughs> I need a map. Um, their, their, their flag has a big old dragon on it. Japan. China. Not dragon. Japan. Mm-hmm. Does it end in an E N or an A N D? No, it ends in an S. Wales. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. They did say that. Yeah, so there you go. Fun fact. Jesus. Nice. I'll bring him into this. <laughs> he might be from there. Oh, I am Jesus. I thought he was from Jerusalem. <laughs> no. Do you have any Guinness? <laughs> Guinness. I'm I here thought with Jesus my three wise from, men. I thought Jesus was from El Salvador. Right. We're about to have our last supper. Or Jesus, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Do you have any haggis? <laughs> <laughs> and some blood pudding. Uh, All I'm doing is quoting that movie, Lucky the Irish, on Disney Channel. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube, so don't I cancel seen us. That. I'm going to have to watch it. <laughs> oh, oh. It's a good one. You just got really blurry, Chris. I don't know if that's... Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. You've been blurry the whole time. time. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it'll it'll upload your your quality that you can see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. So Donnie wasn't like... Ah! Ah! Hmm. You, you look uh, like I've been drinking. <laughs> Basically... <laughs> 
I've been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to talk about what you're speaking of drinking, drinking, David? So this week I have the, uh, I have the spouse to your, uh, watermelon girlfriend. I have the blueberry boyfriend. Oh, the beer. What? Gotcha. <laughs> did you drink like, that babe, one what do you, what have you been, what? Yeah. Yeah. Did you're you married? That? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Blueberry sour from, uh, Prairie Artisan Ales. Mm -hmm. Sour ale with blueberries and lemon zest out of, I don't know, the same place that all the other Prairie Artisan Ales has been out of. Oh, yes, that place. It's good. I'll give it a, what was our threshold? Uh, eight and above and you're going to get it again. I'll give it a seven, nine, Two. Oh, it's so close to. Yeah. Like, it's good. It's line. really good, but it's not good enough. Yeah. I'm really happy about it, but it's not my... I think the issue is I've just... Since I love blueberry so much, I've had so many different blueberry beers, and it's just mm -hmm. not as high as some of the other ones. But look at, like... What the fuck is this? What is it's that? like Fat Albert. What is that? Hey, hey, hey. Like he is the big blue house. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have out of, I guess it was probably canned in Plainfield, Illinois, but probably from Russia. Have a, a <laughs> Smirnoff ice smash screwdriver <laughs> malt beverage, one pint. <laughs> Oh. Eight percent because I didn't have time to go to the store and I stopped at Wawa. <laughs> Where's it from? Uh, probably it says Plainfield, Illinois. Oh, so, canned by the Smirnoff Company, so it's from you know. You, when line, you said it was Russia. probably canned there, I thought like if I was if I was a bar, like if I owned a bar there. I would sell t-shirts like with the logo on the front or whatever. And the back would say, I got canned in Plainfield, Illinois. It's pretty good. Yeah. You've had better, but worse too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I got. I got a screwdriver. My love life. <laughs> smashed a uh, uh, thing. It's pretty good though. I, I actually recommend like it's pretty good. Would you rate it? I'd give it an eight. I'll get these again. Yeah, it's a big old fucker. Yeah. All right, Donnie, since uh, you can't tell us what you're drinking, why don't you tell us what that noise is we keep hearing? All right, now the cat's scratching on the door. <laughs> no, this was outside the door. Yeah, uh, she is outside the door. <laughs> My door's closed. Okay, so who was telling it to get down? Uh, I don't know. Must have been Alexa. Am I friends with Lindsay on Facebook? <laughs> is she in Virginia? Or is she no. in? No. No, she's in my house. <laughs> uh, she, she might be. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wish I had any way to find out. This week on my Ask Reddit, I have, what is something that you should never mess around with? Oh, bees. Be <laughs> Go on. <laughs> they, they hurt. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I got They're real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Skunks. Don't mess around skunks. with skunks. Yeah. They'll fuck you up. Snakes. <laughs> snakes. Especially yep. on a plane. Um, yep. Girls with that little septum piercing. Oh. Don't, uh, don't mess with them. Yeah. Don't mess with them. Okay. I like that. Anymore? You just you just spit them off. Yeah. Oh, what was it? Don't what do you not want to mess around with? Something you should never mess around with. Heroin. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Fentanyl. Drugs. You know. Yeah. In general. <laughs> what else you got, Donnie? Strippers. <laughs> yeah. Did that. Did that. Oh. All right. Well, I chose this one, Chris, because the first one I have is large capacitors. Oh, fucking oh. flux oh. capacitor. Large capacitators. Mm. Uh, the next one I have is garage door springs. Which Ooh. must be pretty dangerous because like 40 people said that. And this guy said, this is the realest of answers. The only thing under more tension is me and my in-laws. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. 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 That Got reminds it. me. I, I was looking at uh, when my garage door uh, stopped working. I was like, I wonder if I could do this by myself. And I was Googling and everyone was like, no. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Donnie, this next one's for you. This person said the production database. Production database. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) Not really a database Uh, guy, but I I get it. (laughs) Well, the production environment, how's that? Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah. Even though. Uh, The next one I have is a land land war in Asia. How about sharks? There's there's a lot of Asia that's (laughs) that's not connected to land, though, so that could be interesting. True. Hmm. I have another man's woman. When a man loves a woman. Sorry. Uh, I have the person who serves or cooks your food. Yeah. Touche. I have the Mexican cartel. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, this person said, don't put your dick in crazy. Uh, all right. I have two more. The next one is lube at P. Diddy's house. <laughs> yep. Baby oil. Yeah. <clears throat> and the last one is MAGA. Horrible cult. Damn. Cult. But we'll take that dub. <laughs> I wore my red for a reason today, boys. <laughs> so this week on my Ask Reddit, I have, what is your favorite dad joke? What's your favorite dad joke? I thought you'd come up with something dumb like, what is your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the top answer Silver. is blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> so a mine that I pull probably <clears throat> daily is I get a lot of like, hey, Chris, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Like if someone's like, hey, I'm, I'm hungry or I'm tired. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. That's my that's my favorite dad joke. Boo. It should be booed. That's why it's a dad joke. Okay. Do you have it, insert any? Insert crickets here. Donnie? Do you have any favorite dad jokes? Donnie, like I have lots of dad jokes, but that's my most used dad joke for sure. Come on, Donnie. You're dad age. David, you're a dad. <laughs> yeah, she can't understand <laughs> English yet. <laughs> what... What uh, days of the week are strongest? Um, I don't know. What days of the week are strongest, Donnie? Saturdays and Sundays, because the other days are weekdays. (laughs) 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 Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. I like that. (laughs) What does a baby computer call his father? Um, hardware. <laughs> uh, he calls he calls him uh, Mac Daddy. Nice. <laughs> he calls him Dada. Yeah, I like Mac Daddy better. Um, the uh, the PC people don't. So I've got, um, I have a friend who was addicted to brake fluid. He just couldn't stop. Uh, Why did the duck get arrested? He got caught stealing quack. Uh, I was going to say he was quacked out of his mind. Mm. Oh, that's a classic. Smells like up dog in here. Somebody, somebody, I'm not doing somebody, I'm not doing somebody. Donnie. Da, da, da. Hey, what's up, dog? <laughs> Nothing much. What's up with you, man? Hey, thanks for participating, boys. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. I get my handyman a list. He did the first task, the third task, and the fifth task. Turns out he only does odd jobs. Hey, I thought you were going to say he only has three fingers. Oh, okay. Because he was a handy man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how about, how about, I don't want to brag about it, but I start my morning with apple cider vinegar. Oh, like the company brand anyways uh, yeah. mm, okay 
What kind of shoes do frogs wear to the beach? R- mm. Open toed. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make Reebok out of ribbit and I couldn't do it. If Pete and repeat are in a boat and Pete falls out, who's left? One more time. <laughs> if Pete and repeat are in a boat and Pete falls out, who's left? Next one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I kind of did it. I said one more time. If you said uh, like twice more and one more time, we're in a boat and twice more fell out. <laughs> You're sleepy. I'm sleepy. Let's sleep together. I call it my daddy joke. I'm hoping to come up with others if Reddit can help me out. Oh, E. That got a little weird. Okay. (laughs) Uh, They found a guy lying in the street who'd use heroin, which had been cut with curry powder. Brush him to the hospital. He's still in a korma. A korma. Hmm. Okay. That's it. I didn't have a lot of time. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready. Well, elevator jokes are the best. They keep going up. Something like that. They're good on so many levels. What does a robot do after a one night stand? Um, He. uh, What does a robot do after a one night stand? he, He wakes up. Because he's been standing all night because he's a robot. He just stands still like something like that. I don't know. I got nothing. He nuts and bolts. (laughs) Touche. (laughs) Why did Popeye punch the Pope? Uh, Something about spinach. Hold on. What was her name? Pumpernickel or... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Daffodil or um fuck um I think you're on the right track. Ah, uh, what was her name though? It was um Popeye and Sh- Schmitty Werger Jagerman Jensen. Uh he was number one. Olive oil. Uh, so what is the, what is the question? What does the Pope do when Popeye? Why did Popeye why punch did, the Pope? Yeah, in the why face? did Popeye punch the Pope? Because he anointed olive oil or something like that? I don't know. He, he heard he went to Mount Olive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty darn good. What kind of bees produce milk? Boobies. Mm. Got it. <laughs> hey. yeah. Johnny, what kind, of, what kind of bees can't fly straight? I have no idea. <laughs> Co-bees. Cool. <laughs> nice. Damn. I know it's like hmm. I said Donnie because I've told you that one yeah. before, Chris. We, this is episode forty, man. We've told each other a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, still remember sitting at the Pro Bowl that day. <laughs> Same. Yep. How can you tell if Puerto Rican girl's pregnant? Mm, sh- I don't know. Check her pulse. I guess they're always pregnant. (laughs) So if she's alive, she's pregnant. If you went camping and woke up with a condom hanging out of your ass, would you tell anybody? I've been camping a lot. We'll say it like that. And I woke up with a condom hanging out my ass. Would I tell anybody? Yeah. Who am I camping with? You're just yourself. Oh, ooh. I might tell 911. I don't know. So would you? Mm, I don't think so. No? Want to go camping? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Wait, we've been camping. (laughs) How'd you you wake up? (laughs) On the ground. (laughs) Looking at, but you're... Four star, four seasons hotel. I was like, oh my god! What did Cinderella do when she got to the ball? Dropped it. Uh, sh- like Aaron Judge. She came. I don't know. She gagged. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, Donnie. That's bad. 
<laughs> that's, that's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Let me see if I can one-up it. Uh, What's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? Something about hummus? <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a garbanzo bean on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. oh here man. Here. yeah I, we need one the... like that but it's like somehow like shitting on your chest too it'd be really funny oh. uh, see. poop jokes aren't my favorite but they're a solid number two Solid number two. Solid number two. So, Donnie, have you seen enough episodes to realize how we're going to conclude this episode? He hasn't. No. Yeah, I've, I've mostly seen clips of it. Like, I watched the first ones all the way through, and then I watched the obviously the wedding one all the way through. And uh, yeah, mostly clips. All right. Well, let me ask you a question. See if we can lead you there. What's something people call a sport that isn't a sport? Aside from like cheerleading, <laughs> actually, break dancing. Is. <laughs> no, it has sport in the name of it. Oh, it has sport in the name of it. They're a bunch of fucking nerds. Hmm. It's a pretty good hint. Bunch of nerds. Might, Let me give you this. Went straight to candy. <laughs> if you <laughs> allow your kid. <laughs> 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 I went straight to candy. <laughs> I love nerds. <laughs> if you allow your kid to pursue their dreams of becoming a professional video game player, you're a horrible parent. Does that help you, Donnie? Uh, no. <laughs> mm, how old are you? Sixty nine. <laughs> you know the comp you know the company like EA, like EA Sports. Yeah, it's in the game. What is what does the E stand for in EA? Electronic. Okay. Isn't it like electronic arts? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Take out the arts part. Electronic. Donnie, if you're yeah. if you're really good at like Fortnite and you go to tournaments, what would well, you like call yourself? The, uh professional gamer. <laughs> so electronic <laughs> sports and then shorten electronic to the first letter of electronic. Yeah, e Donnie, have you never fucking heard of esports? Esports, no. <laughs> Good, because they're fucking losers. No one's ever heard of them. They need to die alone in a ditch, buried underneath a bunch of their tears, because everyone hates them. Esports. Let's make America great again and ban those fucking nerds. Esports. Yeah. Peace. We're out. Also, fuck, fuck Jerry em. Jones. I hope you die. <laughs> Okay, got really aggressive all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And with my fifth round pick, I'll give you uh an esports kid. Esports kid. Uh, and for cyanide John poisoning yeah, for Jerry. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that. Esports? Um, really? Yeah. Go Chiefs. No, oh, fuck that.